With the price of oil dropping in past months, food prices in Malaysia have eased slightly. But for many, the prices still haven't reduced low enough. Yeah, now very moment very high now. Okay, it's expensive. The things are very go up. Prices are very expensive. I think now it's too expensive. We can't take it because I think um, before was uh, earlier was those days was very much down. Now it's very expensive. I think uh, people think it's too expensive. Some people they don't want to buy the uh, vegetables also. They feel it's too expensive. The vegetables are uh, the price are quite quite high. Uh, the prices is uh, two dollar higher from last time. Minister of Trade and Consumer Affairs Datuk Sharia Abdul Samad says Malaysians should not expect a dramatic plunge in food prices overnight. Uh, I think it will take uh, some time, especially for, um, especially for um, uh, manufactured food item. Um, the, the, it takes some time for the lower input prices to work into the system. So that's why you will have a lag in the in the in the. Uh, and the reduction in the prices. The reality is, for many businesses in Malaysia, the damage has already been done. And it's places like this, in Pataling Jay or Old Town Market, that people have and will be hit the hardest. The pressure on small food businesses became particularly acute in Malaysia in June 2008. There was a 27-year record leap in the Consumer Price Index, which showed a 10% increase in inflation on food and non-alcoholic beverages from December 2007 to December 2008. On top of this, small food businesses have faced tough competition and seen a decline in consumer demand. In response to the food price panic in 2008, a price reduction campaign was launched in Malaysia in October, and some Malaysian hypermarkets slashed their prices up to 30%. How effective do you think the hypermarkets price reduction campaigns have been? I think for certain items it's been quite significant. Uh, I've noticed, for example, that they have been able uh, to very far, very quickly translate the reduction in prices. They have been able to combine wholesale with retail. And so in the end it is the consumer who benefits. This may have been good news for consumers, but such initiatives have been severely crippling to small food businesses who do not buy and sell in mass quantities and cannot lower their prices. How is business at the moment? So far it's very bad. Less people because a lot of outside shops. Huh? That's why. Because they like to go to supermarkets, it's very clean, right? It's clean and neat, so they've, they've fixed the a better. Lah. Got a lot of parkings also. Quite slow, la. quite slow nowadays. We are selling uh, less business, la. not so big business, slow business. The price gone up already. The people buy a little bit only. Two kilos, one buy, you can buy one kilo. <laughs> what do you think about the future of your business? The um, future it will be very bad, I think. We'll think. Uh, no people to buy, very expensive thing also. The problem is, many food vendors are caught in a vicious cycle. Fertilizer price is very expensive. It, uh, it shoot up from uh, around 80 ringgit to around 160 ringgit. So naturally, the farmers have to raise the price, and also the wholesaler have to have to raise the price, and and it's a chain reaction. Everything goes up. This may just be part of the global economic crisis, but people still want answers from the Malaysian government. The government have to do something lah to look into the the system. Uh, who actually hold the price? Yeah. Because I, I I have friends who who work in uh, agricultural companies. They say they have reduced the price, but uh, the retailers still uh, hold on to the price. The taxes are too high. There should be no taxes. Food should not be taxed. Food and water should not be taxed. Basic food. What the government has done. We have been reducing where we can uh, the cost of uh, doing business or the cost of uh, uh, that is borne by the consumer. Um, taxes, in fact, um, there are practically no taxes anymore you know, on most, uh, most items, uh, particularly even for food. I mean, it is not, uh, it is not uh, a situation where they are highly taxed. The government can launch price reduction campaigns and stimulus packages, but with the worldwide economic downturn, there is no doubt that times ahead will call for consumers to exercise a certain savviness in spending. Camilla Ibrahim, The Star, Malaysia.